Just give us a break. Don't try what you're about to see at home. And here they come. Of course, the two-time former UWA Tag Team Champions, Adam Savage and Jamie Hyman, stars of the hit TV show on Discovery Channel called Mythbusters. Now, last month, CPV, they put it all on the line. I mean, they asked Uncle Sam for a towel shot. Of course, at first he denied their their the request for a title shot for the attacking championships. But once the Mythbusters agreed, they'll put it all in, they'll do whatever they have to do to get a title shot. Well, Sam said, fine, you'll get a title shot because the girl on great at do or die, but if you lose, because you guys are gonna screw up as a tag. So now it's go time for the Mythbusters. Now approaching the ring, they are the challengers. From San Francisco, California, Jamie Heinemann. From San Francisco, California, Adam Savage, the Mythbusters. I said earlier tonight, folks, that this is a huge dream match. I mean, these teams have crossed paths before, but however, everyone wanted to see these two teams face off in this regular, straight up two on two tag team match. So that's why they fought, is of course, at the Battle of Houston match at Playing the Fame. And it was at last year's Beach Party Slam when Practical Burris made his debut. That first was showed that they're really Robert Singh displaying the hardware where you can tag team championships. And the two time champions, the third on great Practical Burris and Michael Strahan, who of course won those championships, won them back. Back at Panel in Tim, they won the Cell game for the thing Super Saiyan Broly and Pivot Cell, the champions at the time. The last year, the last year, you know, at Beach Party Slam, Plaxico first made his debut with Michael Strahan coming out of nowhere with that huge assist. And that was that very day that they decided that they're going to learn a mark their territory, that they're going to take over and become the new shit in the tag team division. Call themselves the Good on Great. They even called out the Mythbusters last at last of the Beach Party Slim saying that it doesn't matter if it's the Mythbusters or Sex and Buzz, no matter who, they're going to really face the Good on Greats one of these days because we're coming for those tag team championships. Adam Savage here. Oh, try to. Now Plaxico from behind. Oh wait, he just catches the leg and goes to that clothesline. Decapitation clothesline taking down Plaxico. Has going to cover quickly in the middle of the ring. It's not even a one count. Didn't even need the assist from Jamie there. Oh, that was Left hand by Plaxico Burris. It's leveling out of seven. I'm sure Adam Savage. Sydney Plaxico Burris would love to get it. To defeat Adam Savage here tonight for you beat him in singles competition in the last episode of Assault. I mean, like I said, the, the Grand Grace have stated that you know, they're at their best when they're in tag team competition. And they weren't built as singles wrestlers. They're more of a tag team competitors. And all their opponents have known that far well than anyone else over the years. That's exactly why I need to give the edge to the Mythbusters going in this match because they did win both those singles matches going into the CPV. You look at Plaxico there that he's got that just launching himself five feet in the air and that splash, that big old splash he likes to call it. We got all four of these men have that same splash. I'm sure they're all gonna wanna one up each other on it's devastation. Oh look at that tire bomb by Adam Savage. I've never seen Adam Savage do that before. And I mean, the Mythbusters were so green when they came to the UWA back in King of Fame. Oh wait, didn't really have any moves. And didn't really have a huge move set at all. But it like every time they see the tournament, they always just out new moves that they've never seen before. Now tagging with Jamie here. Look, just putting Pasco Bush on the top of it. And it's going to be a huge double team move here. He's like, oh, oh! A, a double back suplex there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at this! And oh, flipping offside moonsault. Pascal Bush going to be dodging it. Oh, we were looking for something. And oh, oh, wait a minute! Took the double that victory roll. Barely getting a one that time. Now look at this once again. Pascal Bush going for. Yep, and there it is. And oh, it's in that big old splash. 
marking out before moving even hit Rock Lock. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! And that's how you mark out, folks. Fox to reverse with that springboard moonsault. The second rope to lead to a three count, but no. Of course, need the assist to kick out. And now how can the Mythbusters come back after that? Jamie here. Oh, that suplex. Wait, he's not done. He's going for a second one. Oh, might be the triple verticals. The three amigos. And there it is. I'm thinking of a 51 year old man like Jamie Heineman. I mean, he's, you don't think of him doing moves that he can do like that. Like that. Springboard Ossay Moonso, whatever the hell he calls that. And like those, like you see those three, those triple verticals, the uh, three amigos. I and mean, you don't see a man as old as Jamie Heineman doing so that. I mean, those are the you see guys like Kevin Nash or Rick Flair doing moves like that. And oh, look at that! And Plaxico Burris holding Jimmy Hyman in place, allowing for a spear. Oh, look at this. He's going to go for another spear. It's going to be the blitz right here. And all of that is to cut. This cuts Jamie in half with that blitz. And that Michael Strand signaling the end for Jamie Heineman. And that's exactly why the the good iron great say they excel in tag team wrestling. They put it away after that huge spear. And of course, it's not in the right place in the right time in the ring. Way too close to Adam Savage to break that up. Hey, wait a minute, Adam Savage tagging himself in. I don't know what's the deal behind that. I mean, usually Adam Savage usually reaches the right time to get tagged by his partner. I guess Adam Savage is really eager to prove himself for the grand greats here tonight. And you know both these men are, both the Mythbusters, they're not going to hold anything back. You know, Adam Savage laying down his version of the big O splash. Classical first breaking that pin attempt up. Now we get to this next fast pace. Full fast like we've seen so far that the might not be soft throw the might, especially from the street fight between Outlaw Star and the Uday Originals. And Adam is taking Michael Strand down by his neck. And now applying the elbow drops. Michael Strahan needs to just mount some sort of offense here. We haven't really seen much out of Michael Strahan besides that devastating spear. This match has been all the Mythbusters thus far. Irish whip. Michael Strahan being absolutely decimated in the corner. Hanging up on the ropes. Now he gets shot out to the outside. This momentum took him over. Oh, we have seven, that double axe handle. Seth King tribute to Stone Cold Steve Austin here. And so now Adam Savage, you just even though he started on the show Mythbusters, even though he wears glasses, even though he wears like somewhat of a cowboy, I mean he can't be badass. And speaking of badass, I'm sure Jamie Hyman is definitely gonna wanna you know, I'm sure he's gonna make his presence felt once he gets tagged back in here. And so the top rope here, oh that elbow! I don't know if he got all of it, but still was enough to knock down the big man, Michael Strahan. The referee, for some reason, deciding to stop counting. Oh, wait a minute, now he's back up to counting, but Adam, though, Adam, though, Michael Strahan's powerbomb! Did he, did he just do that? Tell my eyes to save me, but this, did Adam Savage just lift up that 250-plus pounder, Michael Strahan, that powerbomb? My goodness. That was absolutely huge. Indeed. And all oh, that last shot, oh my goodness. It's busted Michael Strahan wide open. And now this match is turning a turn for the worse here for the ground greats. I mean, Michael Strahan's definitely going to tag in. Oh, wait a minute, all oh, that M5 face plant. This could be a touch after he got busted open. This could be a. Oh, Michael Strahan getting his feet on the ropes, though. And Michael Strahan, after now that he's busted open, and now that he has ate an M5 face plant, he's definitely going to. Definitely gonna want to tag in a Plasco Burst if he wants to keep the opportunity of retaining his championships here tonight, the Titan Championships. Oh, he's gonna send in his own corner there. Oh, that spear. So, is it the momentum just too great? Oh, oh, again, that spear from Michael Strahan. I, I gotta recall, folks, I think this entire match, Michael Strahan has only hit spears this entire match. And he takes in the Plaxico Burris. 
But I was saying, is this the Mythbusters momentum coming in here tonight? Is it too much? Because of, the Green Iron Grace, you know, they're definitely behind now. And possibly trying to pull something out. Going to pull a while of his ass. I mean, I don't know. It's been off there for Michael Spring or something. And look at that. Oh, my Adam Sandler is sidestepping that. That leg lariat from Plaxico Burris. Oh, maybe the fans are maybe the fans aren't like getting behind the ground greats here tonight. I don't know. And now Jamie Hyman getting in the ring. Plaxico Burris finding a way to use his flexibility to get out of that submission like down that surfboard. Plaxico Burris can use his speed. And stamina in order to overcome the Mythbusters. The Mythbusters are one of the most tenacious tag teams here in UWA. You know what? Tag back to Michael Smith's double team and oh, double elbow. I'm going for a quick pin attempt here. And only a two count. Michael Strahan finally doing a move besides a spear, but not really to any avail. Adam Savage kicked out of it on a two count. And Michael Strahan, of course, comes in now getting owned like he did earlier. And he's like, yeah, I think you're right, Rocket. This might be an off night for Michael Strahan or something, or maybe just the crowd. I don't really know what, but Michael Strahan is not himself today. And I think the comment has something to do with him. I mean, you think a practical burst would be able to do well. I was double teaming there, like dropping that sunset flip. Plaxico Burgess in no time breaking that one up. I mean, look at a man like Plaxico Burgess, as controversial as he is. I mean, he never... Oh, look at... Oh, wait a minute! Hey, Jimmy Heineman doing that huge springboard moonsault. Oh, he's going to go for it again. And oh, that... Took it into a clothesline that time. And oh, wait. Is he, is he going north, south, east, west here? It will look that way. He's going to go for it for the fourth time. And oh, my God! He just turned it into a spear, a huge spear! My goodness, he got cut in half! And, oh my god, I thought it was over. How could it not be over there? No idea, I mean that spear should have literally cut Jamie Hyman in half, or at least caused some type of, type of internal injury. I mean, Jamie Hyman had so much momentum, so much speed, so much force, so much inertia behind that moonsault. It's the fact that Michael Strain was able to cause him to come to a, a dead stop in mid-air and kick him down that spear. I mean, that should have caused Jimmy Hyman some internal injuries. You can see Jimmy Hyman is already favoring his ribs. And of course, to no surprise to why. Yeah, in my opinion, Jimmy Hyman totally had that one coming. I mean, how more predictable can he be? He was going for the fourth time in a row. And of course, Michael Strahan was able to see that coming from a mile away and able to capitalize on a huge way. And of course, Adam Savage was able to break that up. I don't know what Jamie Hyman was doing there, but work on the legs of Michael Strahan. I mean, he's saying he's favoring those ribs, Jamie Hyman, but just how he's able to come back and come back with the momentum rather is rather astounding. All right, now Jamie Hyman, look at this. Now he's going for the big old splash. And, oh, there he goes. I think he got the most. Most hang time of all three of them. Only get two count that time. Yes, man, that he's maybe seen a little back and forth, but it seems like so far. Oh wait a minute, Jimmy Hyman took a stunner count and just ate another spear. And this put ever has cut Jimmy Hyman's momentum clean in half. And look at this, a double arm choke slam. And Michael Strahan showing his power advantage over Jamie there. Now Michael Strahan finally building up some momentum. Oh wait a minute, Jamie Hyman bowing back with that scoop slam. That's the thing about the Mythbusters. That's like the mystique of the Mythbusters. They always seem to just come back out of nowhere. And that's how they overcame sex and violence on a two separate occasion. On two separate occasions last year. That there was both that the Val St. Louis match at Pain and Nine and both at Beach Party Slim in the fight to the bitter end, which they won both of the Tag Team Championships last year. So if we had this year's Beach Party Slim that with the Mythbusters just might be able to win back the Tag Team Championships again. Although the current greats have they have anything to say about it. 
Jamie now tagging in. 